Hello. Happy Friday. We're very excited. We're about to head off on the longest tour we've ever done in our van. So today we're going to talk about a new series we've got coming, three parts. The first part is today, talking about packing, no, planning. Planning, packing. Subscribers and new van. <laughs> Did that make any sense? So first of all, we wanted to thank you, lovely subscribers. Thank you. We have hit over 500 subscribers already. We did not expect to, to hit that many. Who thought 500 people were interested? <laughs> we thought maybe five and that would just be friends and family that we bullied into watching us. Yeah. So 500 is actually quite special. We're genuinely touched. Fantastic. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to subscribe to our channel. If you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. We've got some good videos coming up in the, in the near future. But absolutely fantastic. We had a really nice boost from the Travel Trolls. They they gave us a shout out on their channel and we must have brought in like 50 subscribers overnight, yeah. didn't it? So thank you to everybody who's just joined our channel. Massive thanks to those people and the people who supported us from the start as well. So uh, absolutely blown away by the support and hopefully we've got lots more subscribers to come. Mm, tell your friends. Okay, some exciting news. Exciting news. Very exciting. exciting news. I feel like you should have some, you have some kind of flashy thing. No, 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 no flashing thing. Not yet. It's not that exciting. No. So I don't know if you've seen, but Auto Trail have launched a new van. Um, it's called the Expedition 68. And it's really exciting, particularly for me. For anybody who follows our channel will know I'm a key mountain biker. And this van has been designed for outdoors and purposely for mountain biking, etc. It's got cool bike storage. It's quite unique. Um, and there's lots of sort of unique features and stuff on it. Mm going to be exciting especially to see how it works for not so outdoors yeah you know? and how people would use it in normal day-to-day -day life so we're hoping uh next month we'll to have something some very special news for you on that and give you a lot more information about that particular mm -hmm. van so keep watching the channel and in september as i say we'll have some uh, some further updates on the new expedition 68 it's a really exciting van and hopefully we'll be able to show you a lot more of it so in this part of the video we're going to talk to you about how we plan for our trips so you'll see we're not in our van, we're sat on our sofa at home. New for us, isn't it? I know, yes. Yeah. Welcome to our living room. <laughs> oh, a bit of the sofa. So yeah, we do most of our planning for trips at home. Um, sometimes we do a little bit in the van, but most of it's done here. This is our base station <laughs> uh, for planning trips. And then hopefully for the second parts of this trip. So the first part's going to be all about planning, how we plan our trips, what we take for inspiration, what we do. The second part, which we'll release hopefully next week, will be how we pack for our trips. We've shown our van lots of times, but it's never been full of any of our stuff. So we're gonna show you where we put things, how we use it. We get lots of questions about how much storage there is in a camper van compared to perhaps a full coach-built motorhome yeah. or a caravan. I think because often you see, you see reviews and you see um, vans like online or in showrooms if you go and look at them. But it's actually what you want to see, or what I always want to see, is how are people living in them? Where do people put their stuff? Where do your shoes, your coats, you know, bedding? Where does all that go when you're actually using the van? Yeah, so we're going to show you that we're with Molly uh, in the van as well. And we're going to show you us on a, on a campsite or wherever we're going to and on part of our tour. So from next vi next week's video will actually be filmed in situ. Um, gonna Edi edit editing on the move, so if it's really rubbish, you know why. Yeah, I'm editing it on a mobile <laughs> phone, not on our, our normal uh, laptop at home. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how we uh, how we do this. So it'll be edited, uh, maybe hopefully this will be as good as normal. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. And the week after, we're going to show you how we travel with dogs. Lots of questions about how we travel with Molly, where she sits, what we do with her food. Currently on our feet. She's currently sat <laughs> below us. Um, so yeah, what do we do? How do we travel with, with dogs? So the third part of the video, which we'll release in two weeks' time, will be that. So it's a three-part series. So the first part, we'll talk to you now about how we do planning. So for planning, what we do to start with is generally look for inspiration, don't we? Yes. Watch TV. Just anything travel that logs. we might have seen, yeah. We like to watch a travel log yeah. or somewhere yeah. that somebody's uh, Susan recommended. One. Oh yeah, the Susan Calman one was good. That was good. good. And Particularly for Scotland, obviously. Yeah, Paul Merton, uh, travelling around the locks, etc. But also, one of the biggest areas we, we do for our research is YouTube. So we watch other channels and we find places that we like the look mm. of and people recommend. 
um, for our particular trip coming up, which we'll talk about briefly. We're off to Scotland for the longest trip we've ever done. Um, so the planning for this trip, we took a lot of inspiration actually from uh, Bob Earnshaw and Bob and Jenny's channel. They mm. did lots of, they posted a couple of videos and they showed different areas in Scotland they've been to, like an like a, amalgamation of all their trips, which was really cool. So it gave us some good ideas. So that's the first step, isn't it? Yeah. The first step is deciding Research. where you want to go, really. Yeah. Rough idea. And then your dates, obviously. Yes. Well. Yeah. I mean, we say we're going for a lot, like, long time. People think we're going to go for like six months or something. 17 days. It's the longest yeah, trip we've ever done. Yeah, it's the longest we've done. Ever done in a camper van. So 17 days. Um, yeah. So we're, we're very excited. We're maximising every single minute of our time yeah. off of work. And we go tomorrow. <laughs> so we go tomorrow morning, first thing, and we're heading off in, uh, tomorrow morning. So we're really excited. I was out at six o'clock this morning cleaning the van. Um, it's all ready. I've got, been spent a week getting it ready, so I'm very excited. Didn't need it, but I just wanted to do that. Um, it makes so, you feel like a little bit closer to actually going. The more, <laughs> the more stuff you do in it, doesn't it? It does. So next thing we do, then obviously we start to look at books as well. So things like that. It's a travel guide to Scotland. Uh, magazines. So that's the campfire magazine that we're on the front of. Fantastic Adventures. <laughs> yeah, I'm still claiming that. By uh, the way. Quite often these have like you know different ideas and suggestions where to go in there. And this, these books are good. These are the Lonely Planet books. Again, giving you ideas as a present from somebody. So a lot of research and stuff to give us some ideas along with watching YouTube channels. Then when we've done that, we've got the dates, haven't we? Yeah, so, yeah. So normally that's kind of the deciding factor, isn't it? What dates can you get off work? What dates can you go? Where do you want to go? Do your research to sort of narrow it down at least to a country or area? Yeah. So once we've decided and we decided this time again, we wanted to go back to Scotland because we found loads of places we didn't get to visit on the last two few trips. So then we've used, used maps, um, proper proper maps. We also use Google Maps um, or Apple Maps, mm. but we often use, the, that's the map that comes for the Caravan and Motorhome Club site. You see, um, I like I like this one, which we've got, that, that, that one. one. No, no, that one, that because it tells you interesting things to do. Um, and then this one, because it shows you these a, the actual campsites are on here. So because we tend to like to leave the van on site and walk a lot of places it's good because you're like well actually where are they located in in terms of the adventures yeah and that's the map of scotland again just to give us an idea so we planned out where we wanted to go roughly and we drew it on our, with our fingers um so east northwest around uh, sort of anti-clockwise and um we obviously then wanted to book sites because august is particularly busy a lot of places are full so we decided to book sites to make sure we had places to stay and we didn't clog up you know, overnight camping and, and wild camping, etc., in places where there's too many camper vans and motorhomes. So we booked sites for everybody to go, and we the key to it doing was basically booking two nights per yeah, site. Yeah, just a couple of nights. So you get to see different areas. We love, love to travel around and do that, so it's ideal for us. Um, we booked most of the sites to the Caravan and Motorhome Club site because you can book them using the app. Um, it's not the most intuitive app, but it actually works quite well if you wanted to book sites and, and sort of move around a bit. So using the app... Um, there's a, there's a quite useful feature in this. Obviously, you can book and search for your sites by your dates, um, and then obviously you can see what's available, which is what we did, didn't we? Yeah. But there's a glitch in it. If you book somewhere, it then tends to not show you the next site you were looking at also. It shows it's not available. So a tip for you, if you log out of the app again, just double-click and close it down, um, and then open it again and search, you'll find your site reappears. It's something we discovered. We thought people were booking it at the same time as us. Yeah. And it was really frustrating. We found somewhere where to go and the next site was full, which was really annoying because you want to move site to site. Yeah. So close it down. Once you book one site, close it down, reopen it and search again. And then often you'll find the site, there's more availability shown on the app. Yeah. And the good thing with that is that obviously you don't have to pay when you're booking. So a couple of times we booked in one and then maybe the next one wasn't available, but it was, you know, you can change, change your dates slightly. Yeah. Um, and because you've not, you know, you've not paid, there's no transaction as such. It's it's much less of a faff, yeah. isn't it, if you need to change anything. So the key then, obviously, is to making sure you've got the sites and you've got availability and you get confirmation on the email. Um, so you can see that as well. And then the other sites we bought, we had to pay for them in advance, which was fine. So. The rest of the planning then moves on to what are you taking? When do you need okay. it ready by? <laughs> which will lead us nice on to next yeah. week's video. So we're going to leave it here. Hopefully you've enjoyed this and give you a quick insight into what we do to plan our trips. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week, hopefully somewhere on our tour. Uh, not live, but it'll be recorded on our tour. So thank you ever so much for watching. Hope you have a fantastic trip yourself if you're going away. If not, have a lovely weekend and we'll see you in the next video. Thank Take you. Care. Bye.